Now, this topic is about, it's always been stuck in my mind. And especially, I've always wanted to figure out when I was a child or when I was growing up, I was wondering how come my parents, the first generation coming to Australia, has able to, you know, um, to work even harder than second and third and fourth generation. And exactly the same thing as, you know, if you see the first or even... Um, the first generation, any migrants coming to the um to a new country, they work even they work harder, hustle, they have a different mindsets and everything like that. Or let's just say those who've been colonized by another country and the newly arrived emerging colonizer usually works harder than second and third and fourth generation and tend to have the generation goes by it's just get weaker and comfortable and with the social welfare and you know everyone is just it's get weaker it's not as very strong like people are not very workaholic or really wanting to have uh, adult um, you know adulthood life through via having a you know a family right now just too much you know like not many people wants to commit long term way too much divorces and um you know it just weakens and weakens and weakens and when there's something big happens, for example, World War Two or a major uh, academic or pandemic happens, it brings people join together and come together and start to realize how fragile life is. And as as well, what we're going through as coronavirus right now uh, globally. Now, this topic, uh, you know, has always been stuck to many newly arrived migrants. They always say Australian people are lazy. I'm not going to say yes or no. There's a um, reason behind. And even if you go to Europe and uh, it's the, you know, many, many Western cultures, Western background countries come together and come to this country. And now we open our arms and wanting every single people around the world to come to this country every country has viewed work or their lifestyle differently for example back in the days there was a strong religion of christian or any catholics or any religion and you have sabbath day on sunday you must attend to church business was opening monday to friday saturdays you open half day those were the norms in the western civilized world back in the days you work hard, you get where you wanted, you chase the Australia dream or America dream. And but however, back in the days there was a lot more going on, unstable economy or recession. There was a lot more going on. So those who uh gone through it, experienced it through and realized no matter how hard they work and this often recession, it just keeps destroying their wealth, family structure. And so on. Now, newly arrived migrants who go to a new country, they hustle so hard and saying Australian people or the people in the country are lazy and, you know, they never aim higher buying a house or getting a stable, you know, marriage or blah, blah, blah. And they started to realise the hard way after this coronavirus or depression or recession. Back in the days, recessions are so common. Nowadays, it's not at all. So, now there's a bit more, a lot more stable than back then. And definitely, you know, you pass down what's experienced from your grandparents or your parents and what you see through your nature versus nurture debate as well. What's it like you have a, being a poor, rich family or poor family, the environmental, how is social construct yourself to become who you are. But, Many migrants are saying many Westerners or many locals are more unhardworking than the newly arrived. Newly arrived, they have to work their ass off or work a less wage or sending money to their family or they're running a family or they just have something, the motivation or to get them, right? I'm not going to say yes or no to that, but that's the fact. But now, when right now... The world has gone through this recession, soon to be depression, because the way how it is, this is a lot worse than recession because you can't even get out the house. 
you're locked in your house. Now the problem with this now is the fact that how are you supposed to know that this is going to go out to be the way how it wants to be? You know? So many who newly arrived migrants who experience this and they'll start to get weakened once we the country recovers, start to realize, oh, I chased the Australia dream and now it's gone because of um, recession or coronavirus or wars or a lot of recessions. And they start to realize it's not only back in the hometown it's like that, but now Australia, they're going through and now it's forever dead and they'll be slave to the bank for the next X amount of years. And that's why I said, you know, the newly arrived migrants tend to work harder, tend to dream bigger and harder. But gener after generation to generation after from that, it will get weakened and weakened. And multiculturalism, diversity, there's always a new blood. There's always someone to work even harder. There's always someone who's willing to work for the prize. There's always someone willing to step up the game without complaining. Where we're complaining in many authoritarian culture, it's not a su it's not such a thing. Where in the Western world, complaining is the is the thing. But however, it is what it is in life. I'm not saying anything, and I hope you guys do enjoy this video.